Another very commonly used filter in Unix shell programming is the program called sort. Now as you can probably imagine the sort filter is simply used to sort the lines of text from its input. Of course remember that that input can come from a file or it can also come from another program or even from the keyboard. You wouldn't sort the or lines of input from a keyboard very often but we frequently find ourselves sorting the output of another program. The way you use it is like this. You simply type in the name of the file that you wish to sort or you can just get the results from another program. Now it's all very simple and I don't want to go into it too much more here but there is one very common mistake that novice shell programmers make and I want to show that to you. They typically do something like this. They say, OK, I've got a file on my disk and I want to sort the contents of it. So at the end of this operation I want that file to be sorted. So they simply do sort of file 1, assuming that the file is called file 1, and then they send the output straight back to file 1. Now before I tell you why that doesn't work, let's see if we can prove that in, in fact it does not work. Let's have a look at that now. So I'll, I've got a file in this directory called ttt. Let's uh, just have a look at it. It's just a shell script. We had a look at that shell script before, I'm guessing. Actually, no, we didn't. That was just a little experiment of mine. It doesn't matter. So let's actually now sort that file, sort ttt. And here is the output of the sort program, all nicely sorted. I'm going to assume that that is alphabetically sorted. Now if we have a look at the actual TTT file again, you'll find that the file itself was not sorted. The only thing we saw on the screen was the output of the sort program. It didn't actually modify the TTT file at all. Now that's fair enough, but let's now um, sort the file and send the output back into the file. So by the time we finish this, we should have TTT being fully sorted. So it's now cat TTT and it is empty, it's completely empty. Now why would that happen? What has gone on here? We've obviously lost all our data and if you try and do this you will lose all the data in any file that you try and do this to. That's almost guaranteed. So can you think what might have gone wrong here? Well what actually happens is before the sort program even starts the shell has a look at this line and says hmm is anything interesting or special happening at this point? And the first thing it looks at is the very last greater than sign on the line. It says, aha, whatever program we're about to run, the output is going to be sent to a file called TTT. So what I have to do first is I have to prepare TTT to receive the output of the program, whatever program is going to run. So if there was an existing file called TTT, I'll just erase it. Otherwise, I'll create a brand new file called TTT. Now, there was an existing file, obviously, called TTT. So the shell, the shell, mind you, not the sort program, the shell actually gets in and erases the contents of TTT. And then says, OK, we're all set, ready to go. Now let's call that program whatever it was. And the program, of course, was sort TTT. So the sort program is invoked and is set to work on an empty file. And, of course, it doesn't really have much to do. That is why you should never perform that type of operation. So what you should do instead is the following. The correct technique is sort file 1 and send the results to another file, some kind of temporary file, maybe call it file 2, it doesn't really matter, and then rename file 1, sorry, file 2, back to file 1. There is no simpler way of doing it. It might look like there should be, but there isn't. So keep that in mind, not just for sort, but for any filter. If you want to perform processing on a file on your disk, like sorting, but it could be anything else, and after that processing is completed, you want the actual file to have been modified, then you have to use this technique. Anyway, that's all I want to say about sort for the moment. Let's move on.